Okay, so welcome back to this might be part five now. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I know it's, it's kind of been a little bit boring up until now. They're all kind of meant to be a little bit shorter videos than normal. Uh, and they just kind of give you a, a glimpse of what it's like actually building this particular system and whether or not it's, it's hard to do or whatever. So this is just giving you an idea of what it's like building in the system. And then at the end is when I'm going to show you what it actually looks like as a finished product, as a finished system. And it's, uh, talk about kind of the cable management, how hard it was, and really review the, the system build as a whole. Um, not review it from a reviewer standpoint, but review the experience of having to build in a system this small. Um, and you know the experiences of, of doing that and then what we're going to do is obviously do a bit of performance testing uh, to show you what it what it's like and it's, um, I might also kind of using uh, partners prices and everything give you kind of an estimated price of what it would be like to buy the parts for this system and then build it uh, if you want me to I will get that done for those next videos uh, but for now, what I'm going to be doing is installing the power supply, uh, which is another Silverstone product, which we have seen quite regularly in this particular video. Now, I do want to point out this is an F SFX power supply, but you do get an ATX bracket if you want to use it in an ATX system, so they do help you out there. Unfortunately, it's not painted black like the power supply is. You do get some cable ties as well which I will use. Now another thing I want to say is that as I'm building this, I'm actually, what I'm doing is I'm connecting some of the cables before that I have connected the, or, or screwed the power supply in, and that's just because it's going to be impossible to, to connect these once the power supply's in, so um, I'm just trying to line this up and then slide it into its, there, oh, let me have it. And it's, we have it. Here we've got it with the power supply installed. Now these two cables are coming out for the hard drive, so we've left them out there for now as they install the hard drive. Um, and what I've done is I've had the 24 pin come down into its spot there, and um, we'll spin it round. I've had the 8 pin come down along and in, and then I've had them all connect in the center and the unused cables have stuck down in that bottom corner there underneath the fan. So it doesn't look the prettiest but you rarely get a um, aesthetic looking interior in a case this small. It's just not possible, um, especially with the cables. Uh, so yeah, that is a functional uh, layout for the, the cabling. Now what I'm going to do now is install the hard drive and then we are good to go on a small mini ITX budget system. So let's get that installed and then we'll wrap up the end of this bullet side of uh, the project. And then we'll get on to performance and that kind of thing. <laughs> 